Moving right along here, step number five in the seven steps to wellness, dynamic movement and rest. Now there's a law in physics that states what? For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So we really can't separate our exercise or our movement from our rest. If you're not sleeping very well at night, for example, maybe it's because you didn't get enough of the correct kind of or quantity of movement during the day and you're just kind of trying to move to get that extra activity before you can actually settle down. Or if you're feeling sluggish and tired during the day, you got to drink a lot of caffeine or coffee, maybe it's because you didn't get a very restful, deep sleep, restorative sleep, delta wave type sleep where your body could actually secrete the repair hormones. Think about it. You spend, you have to get horizontal like this because we live our lives vertically. That's what beats up on the spine. Sometimes I'm just amazed. It's, it, it's, 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 it's like miraculous that a person can even hold their adjustment for even a week at a time. You got 24 vertebrae stacked up against gravity. The nerve channels are so small, the nerves that come out of them, there's, there's hardly any wiggle room there at all. So we have to get proper rest, not just because it resets the mind. Our bodies really, really need it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now the most overlooked area of exercise is fine motor movements, also called proprioceptive type of movements, also called muscle confusion types of exercises. There's basically three kinds of exercise, keep in mind. Let's zoom out here for a second. There's strength training, there's cardiovascular, and depending on how you define it, there's the proprioceptive movements, which are basically stimulating the cerebellum, which tells the higher brain where your body parts are in space and how they relate to each other. And this is why that's so important. First of all, there was a study done back in 1980, Roger Sperry, he won the Nobel Prize. And you know what he found? He found that 90% of the brain's nutrition and stimulation is just from the movement of the vertebral column. Isn't that amazing? So we need to be moving properly in order to get the correct stimulation of the cerebellum, which then stimulates the higher brain, okay? It's kind of like uh, at my old elementary school, we had these carnivals and you could pay a couple of tickets to go and sit on one of these, almost like a tricycle thing. You put your feet up on the deal and then you go like that. In order to move forward, you have to go like that in order to get the little trike thing to move. And so I think of that because there has to be some kind of a movement or a stimulation in order to get the thing going forward. Or like a bicycle, you gotta be moving in order to actually go anywhere, otherwise you're gonna fall apart. Now, proprioceptive exercise could be as simple as stand on one leg. Stand on one leg, take a toe, go around the clock like this. You can't see my feet, but here on, on this side, I'm going out to my 12 o'clock, back to neutral, out to 10.30, back to neutral, nine o'clock, back to neutral, and so on. That is a fine motor movement that is proprioceptive. The fact that I am standing right now and you're probably sitting and I just did that, I'll tell you what, my cerebellum is just lit up, all right? My cerebellum is lit up and I'm just, um, you know, my, 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 my brain has a lot of activity going on when I'm doing something that is fairly difficult. If I'm learning a new dance move, if I'm brushing my teeth with the opposite hand, whatever, and the key is this. What are we doing when we do that? Well, the higher brain, we're stimulating the hippocampus, which is in charge of your long-term memory, your cognitive function, as well as your hand, your body skills, okay? So when we get older, the field of study that's getting a lot of attention now called brain fitness, right? Brain fitness, that's their ability that, hey, we're living longer, our, our bodies, our, our physical bodies actually keeping up with our mind and is our mind keeping up with our body? Who wants to spend the last five years of our lives, you know, not being able to remember our own children's birthdays? So it sounds funny, but doing the proprioceptive exercises, I think it's 15 or 20 minutes a day, the research shows that that has a better effect on 
cognitive function due to stimulating the hippocampus than doing four, yes, four crossword puzzles per day. Wow, all right? So fine motor, proprioceptive movements, incorporate that into your regular action plan, your exercise plan. You gotta keep it moving, right? Look at the Sea of Galilee. The Jordan River flows through it, and there's a constant turning of the water. That, it's not really a sea, it's like a big lake actually, but it, has a, it still has a thriving fishing industry because there's an inlet and an outlet and the water keeps on turning. Contrast that to the Dead Sea. Well, it's dead, it's very salty, nothing can live inside of it because it's just stagnant. There's nothing flowing in, there's nothing flowing out. Okay, so you gotta keep it moving. The other part here is I have some resting tips for you, okay? Now I'll try to make this exciting so I don't put you to sleep. Where are we here? Nothing like watching somebody read on video, right? Okay, resting tips. Go to bed at the same time and get up at the same time, even on the weekends if possible. This will help you get into a consistent sleep and wake cycle, which helps you get into sleep mode much quicker. Number two, make your bedroom as quiet and dark as possible. Use blackout curtains and eye cover, earplugs, fan, whatever. And by the way, do not use your smartphone or a widescreen uh, TV within 45 minutes before going to sleep because you trick your brain into thinking that it's daytime. And then you live on a 25 hour cycle instead of a 24 hour cycle. And that's why you can feel wake up and you feel like the batteries have already been yanked out of you before you even get out of bed in the morning, okay? So no high definition, no smartphones within 45 minutes before you go to bed. The next one, three, choose a comfortable and supportive mattress and pillow. Might as well, you spend about a third of your life sleeping. Number four, avoid caffeine and nicotine during the evening. These substances are stimulants. Number five, don't eat or drink large amounts of food right before bed. This helps your parasympathetic nerve system, part of your automatic or your autonomic nerve system to focus more on your sleeping instead of your digesting since they kind of work hand in hand, okay? So you want most of your energy to go towards just that instead of blending the two, all right? Next one, we have two more. Sleep during the night. You've probably heard of that one before. Try to accomplish your work or get a job that you do during the day. Studies on human biorhythms show that melatonin levels are best in people who sleep during the nighttime, which is good for immune function and all sorts of other things. And finally, number seven, proper amount of movement during the day. And I already mentioned this, if you can't fall asleep within 15 or 20 minutes or so, get up and try to do something for a while. Don't agonize over why it is that you can't fall asleep. It's probably that you didn't get enough movement during the day. Um, if you're struggling, you got you know stress, you're not creating enough peace, you might have some kind of affirmation or some kind of a music that's going while you're going to sleep because, hey, when you're sleeping, that subconscious mind gets activated and it can be a very, very powerful thing. You can use it to your advantage. I don't have time to cover that on this video, but just understand that there's a plethora, a plethora of information about that on YouTube of sort of programming your own mind while you go to sleep. It could be something from, you know, listening to certain Bible verses that you record in your own voice to, you know, health stuff. There's all sorts of information about that. Why not take advantage? Again, you spend about a third of your life sleeping and you can prepare yourself for the next day. Many cultures, they see the following day is actually starting right now in the evening. So preparation, have you got it? I look forward to seeing you on number six, increasing your fitness. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Prior Lake Spinal Care, 952-226-7222 or email us at info at priorlakespinalcare.com.